All right, there's some news just in. If you've been wondering about why Sonia Gandhi hasn't broken her silence about this particular incident as the country outrageous, she has now picked up the phone and spoken to Home Minister Sushil Kumar Shinde, Delhi Chief Minister Sheila Dixit, and the chairperson of the National Commission for Women over the Delhi rape case and has sought answers. It is our understanding that she has also called for the entire case to be fast-tracked. Deputy Editor Karthike Sharma breaking this news here on India Reports. Karthike, uh, do we know what the message has been from Sonia Gandhi? Uh, Shiv, uh, this is an incident which has really uh, shocked the conscience yes. uh, of the people and the citizens. Uh, the brutality uh, and, and, and this incident has actually uh, stirred a lot of emotions uh, in the civil society. And this, this tsunami of emotions has actually also affected the political spectrum. And that is why uh, the chairperson of the UPA, Congress uh, President Sonia Gandhi, called the Home Minister Sushil Kumar Shinde, uh, spoke to him, also spoke to Delhi Chief Minister Sheila Dixit, yes. also spoke to NCW Chairperson Mamta Sharma. And she said that immediate action must be taken. Uh, she also said that the preventive uh, measures must be put in place. And she also said that the justice should be speedy. And she also said that the NCW must come up with certain guidelines in terms of proposals of law, which makes rape even more a heinous crime. And I must put this on record. Yes. This is the first step which I have learned from my sources that there is, an, there is a space in which the UP is going to work to introduce certain penal provisions which will make uh, the penalty for rape much, much more harsher. And I think that's where Sonia Gandhi has stepped in. Uh, you know, you, you're right when you say, Karthike, that this particular story has has been unprecedented in the kind of effects it, it has had. But would we really see this kind of action being taken if it hadn't, you know, come up in such a big way in Parliament and if politicians across the board hadn't been saying such strong things about it? Oh, yes, I would, you know, uh, and Shiv, you would remember uh, in the Jessica Lal case, yes. after the, uh, the verdict was overturned by the High Court, Sonia Gandhi had intervened and you had seen that the way Shivraj Patil was then the Home Minister had uh, really uh, worked overnight in ensuring that the justice is given to the victim and especially to families of, 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 of uh, Jessica. This is probably the second time in the uh, nine years of the UPA that Sonia, has in, Sonia Gandhi has intervened in a case like this. Yes. And I am given to believe that once after she has spoken to the Home Minister and to the chairperson and, uh, uh, and Sheila Dixit, uh, there are certain paradigmatic changes which we are going to see. And the first one which I have been told by my source is Shiv that there are certain amendments in law which will be seen, probably not in this session, okay. but in the next session. Well, it's the first step and hopefully it actually means some real change on the ground. Uh, thanks for getting us those details. Kartike Sharma reporting on Sonia Gandhi speaking to the Home Minister, Delhi Chief Minister as well as the chairperson of the National Commission for Women. Finally, Sonia Gandhi has entered the fray on this very emotive national issue.